I am here with my two granddaughters who are visiting from California. I have Sophia and Eva. Sophia and Eva. They're going to help me demonstrate something in thread chasing. It's a very simple approach. If you want to get into thread chasing, this is maybe one of the best ways you can practice. It's very simple. Let me readjust my camera and I'm going to have these two demonstrate what you can do in thread chasing. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. What do they say about filming with animals and grandchildren? Okay, no. Now, if you are thread chasing, ordinarily, you're going to do a little box and you're going to start with the lid and you're going to thread the female threads on the lid first and then this is the base of that box and I'm going to do the male threads second and mate the lid to the base. Now, today we're just practicing. We're, we're going to throw that rule out the window. Now I'm going to readjust my camera and I'm going to just uh, show you a good way to <laughs> demonstrate how thread chasing should feel to you when you do it successfully. There we go. Now in this split screen, I'm going to do my very best to show you what I'm going to do in preparation for letting my granddaughters do a little thread chasing. Now, they don't have the skills to get to this point. So what I'm going to do in the next couple clips is get my little piece of boxwood ready for them to practice on. And that's what it's going to be. Now the challenge for you may be to get to this point yourself. If you have no experience with thread chasing, you may need to elicit the help of somebody who can get you to this point. Another wood turner who has experience in thread chasing. But I'm confident you can do the same thing. You can get to this point. Now, there are several levels in thread chasing that will lead you to success. One of them is simply having the skills to get to this point, like if you're turning a box or whatever your project is. The next part of it is chasing the male thread and the female thread. Those are relatively easy. The difficult part in my view is putting those two together and mating the male and the female. And that is pure joy when you get it done successfully. So I'm going to help my granddaughters kind of practice on each one of those and then the next step is kind of up to you. So what we're doing in this video is I'm showing Sophia and Eva uh, an approach or a technique that will show you the feeling you get when you're chasing a thread successfully. Good. Now I've already established the thread on that and all Eva has to do is just find that and the groove is just going to have her tool traverse across that piece of wood. And you'll see from her shavings that she's uh, in a good cutting position. And all we're doing right now is just making those threads a little deeper. And the point I'm trying to make here is this is really more of a feeling and it's difficult to do that until you've done it. And it's like, okay, I understand what you're getting at. All right, let's have uh, Sophia come up. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna establish a little bit of a chamfer on the, the front of that. Turn my lay speed down, let's have Sophia come up. Now, once we've established a thread, we don't really need to be turning very fast. So I've got that turned down to about 250. So we come back to the beginning. Let's lift it up. Now push, just push a little bit into the, there you go. Now let's lower, lower our handle just, okay. Now I need to let you know that that clicking sound that you're hearing is a split in the wood. And every time the wood comes around and hits that tool, it's making that sound. Where the chaser cuts really well. And I think Sophia has found that place. Look at the shaving she's getting, awesome. Okay, just a little bit more, and then we're going to move on to the, the female recess. All right. So that's a really good thing to practice. I'm going to back the camera off here. Just Now what I'm going to deal with 
is the recess. This is the female thread. And I'm going to take my inside tool and just clean that up a little bit. And I'm at turning speed right now. And I need to establish a recess in the back of my thread right here. So now we can chase our female thread. And this is a little bit more difficult than the male threads we just did. Now ordinarily you see me do threads with my armrest tool. We're not going to do that right now because that's a whole different ball game for a new wood turner. And I really don't recommend getting all these specialty tools. You don't need an armrest tool. Learn to chase threads just with the tool rest in this position. I'm going to establish a thread on this just like I did before and I'll have the girls do the same thing. And I'm aiming for about 300 RPM. That's close enough. So 45 degrees, make a nice long sweep. And I'm just trying to establish a thread on this. This really is the difficult part because you're almost guessing the speed of your traverse on this. Now let me emphasize this critical point. Right now I'm establishing the thread on the chamfer and this is very difficult to do and this is the reason I'm having the girls practice on threads that are already established. That's relatively easy and it gives you experience in chasing a thread. Now I've got my granddaughter Eva ready to go here. I'm going to get her on the other side. And I've given them just a little bit of instruction off camera. So we want to hold that tool horizontal to the earth. Let's move this out. I'm going to turn the lathe on. And then you just put it in there. This is a little bit more difficult. And when you get when you get so far in, you gotta you gotta pull it out. There you go. That's a good one. There you go. It takes a really gentle touch to do this. Now keep in mind, Eva and Sophia have never done this before. Are you getting the hang of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not too bad. I just keep going from there. Now it does take a while to get the feeling of how to do this. But I think we're there. Now do you feel the tool being drawn through there with the with the thread? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> now you're, you need to hold that horizontally. Hold it down. This is not easy, but this is a good video. Put your blow those shavings off so we can see what you're doing. Very good. I like that. Okay, keep in mind this was just a simple technique to help you start chasing threads. Now, Sophia and Eva have done a little bit of turning. They haven't done enough turning to actually make something like a box. That takes a pretty good skill level. So if you're thread chasing and you want to do a threaded box, well, you need to make a box with a slip fit. And all we've done is just a little bit of how to chase a male and a female thread and an approach that you can practice doing that. These guys have got a long way to go to make something 
a little bit more advanced like a box, but that gives you an idea how to get started. So girls, thank you very much. <laughs> Eva, this is Eva, this is Sophia. <laughs> and here's okay. a shout out to the other one in Las Vegas. Grace, we wish you could be here. Say hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. All right, there we go. Bye-bye.